Hey there and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Wendy Pett with Visibly Fit and I'm so glad you're here because we're going to do an awesome workout today. All using your body as your gym. It's a mind muscle connection type of program. It's called Visibly Fit and you don't need any equipment. You don't need weights, bands, you don't need any gimmicks or gadgets. You just need your body. Your body is your gym. So let's get started. I want to go ahead and kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. I've been doing this for over 20 years, teaching and instructing and uh, really helping others create the, the goals that, that they've been wanting to accomplish in their own physical health by doing these type of exercises. They help to build muscle, shed fat, and they don't put stress on your joints, tendons, and ligaments. So here's what I mean. I want you to imagine that you have weights in your hand right here, okay? The mind is very powerful. You can create and imagine that weight without it ever being there. So go ahead and imagine that you have heavy weights in your hands. We're going to do a couple bicep curls so you can kind of get the, the feel for this, okay? So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and actually set my timer because we're going to be together for the next 20, 25 minutes, all right? How's that sound? All right? Here we go. Go ahead and lift and squeeze those the front of the arms, the biceps. You'll use slow, controlled movements as you squeeze and then slowly bring those arms down because remember you have heavy weights in your hands so you don't want them just to drop down you want to use slow controlled movements on the positive and the negative movement all right this is called moving isometrics or dynamic visualized resistance dvr all right very good and you squeeze and then you slowly lower this type of training will help you get the curves that you've always wanted without having to go to the gym. It helps you just kind of make your, your workouts work for you, right? Because you, you can squeeze them in, pun intended, any time throughout the day. Let's just do three more right here. And then I'll walk you through a few of my favorites, okay? Slowly lower, I just want you to kind of get the feel for this. Let's just do two more right here and squeeze and slowly lower and squeeze and lower very good so do you feel that on the front of the arm as you're really squeezing and tensing a lot of times uh, it helps to think of um, maybe bodybuilders when they are on stage doing their uh, competition their performance and competition um, to get you know, to become Mr. Olympian. Uh, so they're up there and they're doing their poses, right? Those poses are basically like moving isometrics. I don't know how to do the poses, but they do, but that's what they are. They're, they're dynamic, visualized resistance moves. And so everything, the entire body is working as one unit. It's all tight and controlled and contracted, okay? And so that's what we're going to do here today. You're going to feel this tomorrow, I promise. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to put one foot in front of the other. Again, our body's working all as one unit. Your legs are going to be tight. Your stomach is pulled in. And then your arms are going to be pulled out, uh, stretched out next uh, uh, across the way here. You're going to have flexion from fingertip to fingertip. All right? Now I want you to squeeze with all your might, bringing those arms forward, flexing and squeezing. Now right here, you should feel this in your pecs. Right here. Really tight squeeze. This is one of my um, seven main moves that we do every day. It's called Visibly Fit 7 by 11. This is the pectoral contraction. You squeeze the upper back right here. So you're working your entire upper body. Actually, your entire body because your legs are tight as well. Stomach is pulled in really, really tight. And whenever um, people flex and tense, they usually flex and tense in their shoulders. Make sure you relax those shoulders, okay? Good, and then bring it forward. I know this is a little different probably than how you're used to working out, but I promise, I've been doing this for 20 years. It works, <laughs> it works. It builds muscle, sheds fat, and does not put stress and tension on those joints and tendons and ligaments. And as we age, we don't need extra <laughs> stress in those areas, do we? No. This is a gentle style of working out that has incredible power behind it. So, good. 
Keep it going. Let's just do three more. It takes a little while to get used to it. And as you're pressing forward, maybe you need to imagine that I'm pushing against your arms, not allowing them to come forward, right? Or pushing behind your arms, not allowing them to go backwards. Okay? However you need to visualize it. And yes, make sure you're breathing. Good. Last one right here. And squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Picture one of those big exercise balls right there that you're squeezing. Good. And bring those arms back. Very nice. Go ahead and shake that out. That's one of my favorites. I've got several that are my favorites, but you can work from your neck to your toes doing this style of workout, okay? So um, let's just keep it going. I don't want to talk too much because I'm a talker, as you can tell. Um, let's go ahead and do something for the neck. A lot of people forget about the neck. Your neck holds, you know, eight to 12 pound head, and we need to strengthen that neck. And a lot of tension and stress ends up in our neck. And a lot of people have tech neck, right? From looking down at their phones or, or whatever, their gaming. We, we need to strengthen that neck and make sure it's strong and it can support our head. And also it can alleviate extra stress and headaches and that kind of thing. So here's what I want you to do. Put your arms like this, fist one over the other, and I want you to push into your forehead. I know, it's kind of weird. It's all kind of weird, but it works. And I want you to push into your forehead and your forehead into your hands, okay? And we're just gonna hold it into an isometric press for just a few seconds. And you're activating that neck. Good. Now I want you to put your hands together like this, put them behind your head, and do the opposite. Putting that hand, those hands, right pushing against the head and the head into the hands. Good. So even right here, your body is working as one unit. Your stomach should be in tight, your glutes, your, your bum should be tight, your legs should be tight, everything should be tight. Now, I want you to go to the side with one hand, and I don't want you to take your head over the side, I just want you to press, okay? So go ahead and press just for a few seconds. Again, stomach's in tight. Good. And the other side. Nice. So you don't have to jump around. I mean, like I do, <laughs> but you don't have to, to work your body hard, okay? Because when you are thinking into the muscles, you're working them extra hard. It's just a little different than maybe what you're used to. Um, but it's powerful and I wanna to continue to show you more. So let's go ahead and do a, a fly, okay? So a back, a back fly. So you're just going to hinge over at the waist right here and arms are here, all right? Now, you're just going to lift your arms up as if you had weights in your hand and doing a normal fly. And you're going to squeeze, 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 Squeeze that upper back, and then bring those arms down in front of you. So everything is working. You can see them kind of even shaking, right? So your forearms are working even, because you have your, your hands and fists, all right? And then lift, and squeeze, and lift, good, and squeeze. Again, thinking about the muscles that are working. What's working right now? Your forearms, your shoulders, your upper back. Good. And then when you come down here, your chest is working. Good. It's that mind-muscle connection. Good, just three more. And take it down and lift it up. Yeah, I was in a snowmobile accident almost 20 years ago, well, 20 years ago. And these type of exercises rehabbed my shoulder injury and I didn't have to have surgery like the orthopedic surgeon wanted to do. So 
They're powerful, all right? All right, very good. Hopefully you felt that all the way through your upper body, upper back, okay? Now next one, we're just gonna do a deadlift. So this is for your low back, it's for your glutes, it's for the back of your legs, your hamstrings, okay? So again, that visualize resistance. I want you to imagine that you have a heavy barbell right here, and you're going to slowly bend over, knees are slightly bent, you're going to slowly bend over. Again, you've got that heavy barbell right here, flat back. And you're taking down that heavy barbell, and then you're lifting up, and as you're lifting up, you're pushing with all your might through your heels. And then you're going to come up, and when you come up, I want you to squeeze those glutes and push your pelvis forward, okay? All right, <laughs> good. And take it down. And lift and press through those heels. Press, press, press. Good. Stomach in tight. And lift, lift, lift. Are you breathing? I hope so. I don't want you passing out on me. Good. And lift. It's all very slow and controlled. Again, mind muscle connection. Just give me two more right here. And lift. And squeeze. Good. Last one. And lift. And squeeze. Very good. All right, so, so far we're kind of just working our way down, full body workout. And look, it's only been 10, 11 minutes. And hopefully you're kind of getting a little bit of a sweat going. You're feeling warmed up. Your, mind, your muscles are feeling tighter. Again, you can do this anytime, anywhere. So um, just get creative with your workouts. If you're at home, if you're stuck at home, you can do, you can do these kind of workouts. Okay, it's perfect for the home. All right, now I want you to do, we're going to do an isometric. Uh, and it's going to uh, <laughs> work the outer part of the thighs, okay? But we're just going to put our hands here on our knees, and you're just going to press out with all your might, okay? While your hands are pressing in. So again, it's an isometric press, and you just hold. You hold for a few seconds, and you hold. Good, I know you feel that, right? Okay, now hands here, and then I want you to press in while your hands are pushing out. All right, go ahead and press, and press. Good, you're working those inner thighs now. Good, nice job. Now, before we do more legs, we're going to do an abdominal exercise that is just deep breathing. You can do this all throughout your day. It's going to give you extra energy, and it's just a really great um, abdominal exercise without having to get on the ground, okay? So I want you to put your hands here so you can feel your abs working, okay? And you're just going to inhale through your nose, and your chest is going to come, it's going to come up and out. And as you exhale through your mouth, your, your abs, your, your stomach is going to come down and back to the spine. You're gonna pull it in as tight as you can, okay? All right, so here we go. Inhale big, and exhale out the mouth. You release all that breath. You will feel, because your abdominals wrap around your back, you'll feel it in your low back if you're doing it correctly, okay? Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Just give me three more. If you feel lightheaded, sit down. You're taking in a lot of extra oxygen. Inhale. And exhale. Two 
Two more. And exhale. Last one. And exhale. Whew, very good. Do you feel that? If you're doing it right, you will. So keep practicing. Um, maybe even doing those in front of a mirror so you can get that positive affirmation of, of that stomach being pulled into the spine as you exhale the breath fully. Okay? Now we're going to go ahead and do some. Um, some tiger bend squats and so the way that you do that is your hands are kind of here they scoop up okay that's how they're going to move throughout this exercise they scoop and come back now you're gonna be up on your toes if your knees are compromised at all just go down as far as you can maybe it's just right here and that's okay okay so you're gonna scoop and then bring those arms back in and you're gonna scoop and bring those arms back in Again, using flexion and tension, right? Because our entire body is always working as one unit. So if your knees are, if you have good knees, we're gonna take it down further. Your um, feet should be about shoulder width apart. And you're just going to come down up on your toes and scoop, hit the floor, scoop, and come up and drop your heels, okay? So it's a scoop and drop. And when you drop those heels, you're squeezing and flexing those legs. All right, so it's down and squeeze. Down and squeeze. Inhale, exhale. And squeeze. Good. How are you doing? Make sure those knees are parallel and they don't try to pop open like sometimes you'll kind of you know wiggle around stay parallel keep those knees controlled good let's just do 10 more how about it that's 10 it's eight six just four more. And two. And one. Feel your heart rate get up just a little bit. And we didn't even take it up to the speed that I normally take it up to. So when you're working your large muscle groups, your heart has to work harder, right? To pump that blood. So anytime you're working your legs is a good thing. If you need to drink water, go ahead. In fact, let's just go ahead and take a big deep breath. And exhale. Again, inhale. More for me than you so I can talk. <laughs> and exhale. Very good. Nice job. Okay, so we have about three more minutes here. So what I like to do is get on the ground and hopefully you can see me, uh, but we're gonna just do some, um, just some ab work and some table, tabletop stuff. So, and maybe some push-ups too. Why not, why not? Okay, let's go ahead and get on the ground. And we're gonna go into a tabletop position. Again, hopefully you can see me. I have no idea. And you're just going to press to these heel, your heels and lift up. Make sure you're keeping your hips straight up and not tilted, okay? You wanna keep them straight. And you're pushing through your heels with all your might. And you're squeezing those glutes. Squeeze those glutes. And lower. And up and squeeze. Last one, up and squeeze. Good. 
Very good. All right, we're just gonna roll over and come over here on our side. I think I need to scoot back. I wanna make sure y'all can see me, huh? Okay, so we're just going to do some tricep press-ups. So you're right here uh, on your side. This hand here is going to be right under your chest or under your arm area. This arm is gonna come across right here on your shoulder, okay? And we're just going to press up and down and lift and lower we're just going to do five that's three two oh let's do five more what do you say all right here it goes five four three two and one very good now we have to do the other side. So flip around. Again, this hand here is going to be under your arm where your chest is. This hand on your shoulder. And here we go. And lift and up. Pressing through your palm. Good. And lift. And lift. Good. Five more. It's five. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Now, we're on the ground. We might as well go ahead and do some Superman because they're so good for your low back and then a couple push-ups. So let's go ahead while we're here and put the forehead on the ground. And then we're going to lift up. As you lift up, you're squeezing that low back squeezing the glutes, and lower, and lift, and lower, and lift, and lower, lift, three more, three, and two, and one, very good. Now, if you are a beginner with push-ups, it's totally okay to modify. Not a big deal. Sometimes I do a modified. Depends on how I'm feeling that day. But modification, make sure that you're on your knees and that your bottom isn't out here, that you're over here in this direction, okay? That you're more like a, uh, a, a launching pad, okay? And so you'll just come down here and up. All right, so we're just going to do 10 of them, not a lot, but let's go ahead and do that now. So get up either on your toes or on your knees. I should put my hair up in a pigtail. <laughs> Here we go. And 10. into a child's pose. Stretch those arms out. And come up. Very good. Just come up to the standing position. Take a big deep breath. You had a great workout. Nice, short, and sweet, right? If you want more like this, take a big deep breath. All you have to do is go to wendypet.com Check out my site. I've even got wendypet.com forward slash trial. You can try 14 days for free. We do every day live workouts in our group and we'd love to have you there. Good, last one right here. Inhale big. And exhale. Good, you're awesome. Don't let anyone else tell you different. Blessings and have a great day.